Welcome, welcome, brothers, to the first session of the Midnight Talker. I will be with you around midnight, because it is always midnight somewhere around the world. And so let me dispense some wisdom today with you. All the songs come to you directly through the overwhelming calming, soothing space between thoughts, which is where reason comes into you. For tonight's session, we will begin with a song that I like to call Make Me Dance. <laughs> alone and nobody calls you on the phone but don't you feel like a cry don't you feel like a cry well here I am a honey come on look at me when you're There's nothing but the smell of her perfume. I don't you feel like a crying? I don't you feel like crying? I don't you feel like a crying? Like cry? Come on, come on. to come in the night but there's no one don't you feel like I'm crying new thoughts, new ideas that will blossom, hopefully, if you take care of them, and if you'll nurture them and watch them grow. And this happens not because they are mine, but because they are yours. Since you are me, and I am you, and I'm not the warriors, the warriors is us. We are all connected, cuckoo cuckoo. Because of that, we have to combat an obnoxious and dangerous idea. The idea that the powers that be can control us. And yes, sometimes they do get us through mainstream media and noise, trying to subdue our minds into doing what we are supposed to do, trying to force what the right path for us is. We have to find our ways, our own path. The thing is that we all think of people as the bee used to say, people can be killed, but ideas, ideas are persistent. And I will leave you with the following thoughts to make up your mind. The 
first one is ideas are persistent remember before vendetta and then remember inception and then remember all the important people that has come and gone but their memories have lingered on they have lingered on through history books and fame what do you remember of them what do you remember of them is an idea so this is also an idea pervasive to the mind some people call me the space cowboy yeah some call me the gangster of love some people call me maurice <laughs> The pompatists of love People talk about me, baby Say I'm doing you wrong, doing you wrong Well, don't you worry, baby, don't worry Cause I'm right here, right here, right here, right here at home Cause I'm a picker I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. I play my music in the sun. I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. I get my love and I'm something that we all strive for in many different ways but love is an idea but most of an idea it is also a feeling that makes it even more powerful than anything else in this universe but because it has roots in your heart and you heart can open the heavens for it and for the world and for everyone around you open up the heavens love can reside and can grow inside of your mind inside of your heart 
That is something hatred cannot do. Hatred can never defeat love, even if it's more violent and gruesome. Because hate is only an idea and it can only reside in your mind. And it cannot grow, although it can spread like a virus. And as such, it will destroy the host. It is around midnight in San Salvador and Salt Lake City. So there is always hope for the broken hearted. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten law, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of some of one gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Oh, distinctly I remember, it was the bleak December and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my books sources of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Leonore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels na named Leonore, nameless here forevermore. And poetry has always been, and is always tied to love. Again it comes from the Creator, since we are in the image and likeness of the Creator. And by that power we can be like the Creator. If we let love grow and spread, we will create things that never, that were never here, things that never existed before. That is divine intervention and action. That is the flow of the universe. We all have it. We all possess it. We all possess this ability to love, this ability to create. But the ones that compete with the world since ancient times try to control us. They design and configure the world in a manner where boundaries and negative feelings rule. They are the ones that install negative thoughts into our minds negative thoughts like there is no light there is no hope that there is no way of getting out that there is only the spiral going down and so we'll believe that for the longest of time we believe that we, we grow up believing that is true that is the way things are and never going to change that this is the way you know this is the way it always been. We cannot change it. That we're powerless. You know, that is the biggest of lies. The biggest of lies in this world. When we realize that we can be vulnerable, we can be loving, we can be kind, not getting hurt, or not dying, that we can survive being who we are. And by following religious, moral, or ethical, and philosophical principles that makes us better persons, the importance is that of being true people to each other, to be loving. That is what really matters, what makes sense. These things we are talking about will be over soon. Everything passes. Everything is subjective. Time is subjective. A year can pass as if it were a minute, and a minute feel like a long year. What I will say to you is, what are you searching for? Mm -hmm.